Hello, Oscillator Sync here. Recently I posted a reverb shootout video between this uh, Zoom Multistomp MS-70 CDR and the Digitech Polara. Uh, the conclusion of which was basically that if you wanted the better reverb, then the Polara wins. But that's kind of not the whole story, and I didn't want to leave that uh, video with the impression that I think that the Zoom is a bad pedal. To the contrary, I think it's a really exciting pedal. In fact, I think it's one of the easiest pedals to recommend to a synthesis that's out there really. And part of the reason for that is that it is a multi-effects pedal in the true sense of the term, in that you can run multiple different effects all at once. So I got to thinking, how can I show off the multi-effectness of the Zoom? You know, uh, an obvious one would be to make a big ambient washy uh, patch. And I might still do that because that sounds like fun. But early this evening, I asked myself the question, Given only the very most basic starting point, could you use the Zoom to make the rest of a synth? So I plugged in my monologue, my beloved monologue, and I set my oscillator to a sawtooth wave, gave it a bit of uh, release on the envelope, and that's all I've done. Um, one VCO, the filter is wide open despite the knob position, it's wide open. The re resonance is down at zero, uh, VCO2 is turned off. All we have here is a sawtooth wave with a bit of release. So um, I got to playing and it was really good fun. And th so I thought I would share with you the patch on the Zoom, as it were, that I came up with. So the first thing I wanted to do on the Zoom was to approximate the idea that at the moment I only have one VCO, we always like it on our sense when we bring in the second VCO, it's slightly detuned uh, and everything sounds uh, ace. Uh, so I switched over to a detune algorithm on the Zoom, turning that on. I haven't gone over the top. That second oscillator, that detuned oscillator is sort of only slightly mixed in. Put more in if we like. It's tuned 11 cents away, we could be more wobbly, but quite like 11 there. So again, without and with, which is a nice start. So the next thing I wanted to do was add a sub oscillator. So next uh, effect that I added in was this bass pitch uh, algorithm allows you to shift the pitch uh, in semitones rather than in cents. Um, as a tone control, we can uh, and then balance is kind of the mix, if you like. Uh, and you also have a fine control, so you can even detune this one off a little bit. So without, and we add in, there's our sub oscillator. Very nice. So, um, I actually came across this effect towards the end of the patch, so I actually had it later on and I started to look for modulation effects. And I was thinking maybe I could put a chorus at the end or something like that. And I came across this one, which is called Mojo Roller, which I don't think I've used before. This is really cool. I suspect it sounds great on guitar as well, but basically what this effect does is it allows you to uh, set up a vibrato that fades in. Um, I think uh, the Boss VB VB2 can do this trick, um, or at least you can you can turn it on in a way that fades in. So um, what this means is, so this is without, we turn it on. Uh, when I first hit the key, you'll hear that it's sort of still fairly um, consistent, but after a while, you'll get this vibrato happening. Isn't that neat? Um, so it's kind of like having a pitch LFO with a, um, a LFO delay on it. So again, without. And with. Nice. So we've got uh, three-ish 
oscillators pretending now and we've also got some pitch LFO in there. So the next thing is obviously we need to run it into a filter. There's a bunch of different filter algorithms in the Zoom. I've ended up using this Zetron one which is based uh, on an envelope following filter so it's not a um, hasn't got an ADSR, it's just going to follow the envelope of the uh, note. But it does have kind of like a slow ramp up. So uh, without. And with. So this has got controls for, for resonance um, sense, which is how um, how much it's going to react to the inputs, volume, and then just a level control there afterwards. And I love the way that this has changed the, the overall character of the sound so much. This is the other reason, I guess, I'm cheating slightly by having that release on the note, because now I have a, a filter sloped down as it um, follows that volume envelope. Very cool. So um, that was kind of my synth voice, and there's DSP spare. So that's what four effects in now, and I've still got DSP spare to add other ones. So I thought, well, you got to add a delay, right? So this is the analog delay model. Uh, it um, has all of the stuff you'd expect: uh, time, which is delay time, feedback, mix. Uh, it's got a high dampening, so you can roll off the top end. I've rolled it off quite a lot. And it's got mono or ping pong mode. I've got it set to ping pong so that we can get some stereo width now. So uh, without. And with. nice sounding delay we didn't talk about the fact that yeah the the reverbs might not be as good as the Polara but it's got some really nice sounding delays on it in fact I think the delays in general might be better than the reverbs but um, perhaps I'll do a demo of those another time uh, so we've got five effects in now there's still DSP to spare so we can put a sixth effect in as well and I've popped the plate reverb in I did play with one of the weirder reverbs as well, Mangled Space, uh, which also sounds pretty cool. I might switch to that in a second just to, to show off again. So um, we've got this sound without, let's try it lower. And add some plate. Actually, just just right this second, I'm thinking to myself, should I have the D, the delay after the plate maybe? So I can't. The, the 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 delays of the echoes have got slightly sort of indistinct. Really easy to do this on, on the zoom. If we go into this menu here, and we go down to effect chain, we can move this little picker here. We'll pick up plate and we'll pop it before the analog delay, and now they are the other way around. Simple as that. So um, here we go, other way around. I could, I could go either way. Cool. Let's let's just try that mangled verb as well. It's up here somewhere. Um, see these ones here where it's saying through. That's because we've run out of DSP for those ones. I think ah oh, mangled space. I had added the dive bar, so we're out of DSP for that one now. Um, we could delete one of the other effects. We'll try space hole and stats in as we can. <laughs> Wow. 
as fun as that is, let's go back to our plate because that was uh, a nicer sound, I think. <laughs> Whoa, yes, I think the pitch tracking <laughs> freaks out right at the top sound. Just about hanging on. Start to get weird into modulation. Yeah, no, the, the, the pitch tracking has given up on that D there. Yikes. Down at the bottom. More reverb. More delay. So um, that's the patch that I built up. Let's take those off one by one just so you can hear what the source material was again. So say goodbye to the delay. Say goodbye to the plate. <laughs> really does <laughs> drop off, doesn't it? Uh, say goodbye to our filter. Say goodbye to our vibrato. Say goodbye to our sub oscillator. And finally say goodbye to our second oscillator. I think, given that that is our source material, what the Zoom has achieved there is nothing short of miraculous. And again, if you haven't done it already, go and look at the price of this thing. Yes, absolute insane value. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please do hit the old thumb for the like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of cool synthy stuff coming up. Um, hopefully having a couple of new additions to the synth family in the not too distant future. Not going to say which since they are, but keep an eye on the channel. I'm very excited to get my hands on uh, these new synths. Uh, and otherwise, thank you so much for joining me as always. Take care and bye bye. See you soon. <laughs>